Hey everyone, welcome back. My two incubators here, you guys saw this uh, in a previous video. This incubator here with the quail and chicken eggs, um, it's time to put it on lockdown. So it'll be three days with no uh, egg turner or anything like that. And uh, I won't be opening it up at all until after whatever's going to be in their hatches. Uh, my egg counter is off on this one here because I had to reset it once during the process. But it's been 20 days or 19 days for the quail eggs. In 18 days now or 17 days this is the evening for the chicken eggs and uh, chicken eggs take 21 days quail eggs take 23 days so anyway we are three days away from hatch so Sarah and I just went through and did a rough candling on these I did see movement movement in one of the chicken eggs there are a whole bunch of these in here that are clear which means they're no good and all of this stuff I learned by watching the clips that you guys have probably watched that Melissa sent me and then I edited into a video from the Louisiana chicken coop so anyway, I'm going to go through and do the candling, and I'm going to actually pull the egg turner out of here, and then we're going to look at every egg, and if they're clear, they, they don't go in. If they're not clear, they are going to go in here with no turner, and then it'll just be, like I said, three days, and we should hopefully have ourselves some little chicks. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, I'll kill the lights here and then we're just going to go through each one of these and if it's clear it stays, if it's not, we'll put it back into here. Well, on my chicken eggs, I saw none that were just perfectly clear. I did only see movement in one egg, so I don't know. And there was one that had no air sac, which I'm pretty sure nothing's going to happen. Uh, I don't know. For me, looking at this, I'm expecting one chicken. But I just talked to Melissa on the phone, and she said that she had some that she did not think would hatch. And she did end up with four out of her you know, first batch that she did. So anyway... I'm going to go to the quail egg. There's a lot of those that are clear that will not hatch, but at least for the chickens, I don't know. My first time, so we'll just see what happens. After talking to Melissa, she suggested that I put some sort of a separator in here because when the chicks are born, it's kind of violent. They're bouncing all over the place. The eggs are rolling everywhere, and once they're, they're up and walking around, they like to peck each other. And quail, I don't know, many times I've raised day-old quail and bought them from the farm and garden places. They're not much bigger than a, like one of those big bumblebees. So if a little chicken was to peck one of them, you know, it might not be good. So I put a separator in there, and then I see this incubator has a hole right there which is big enough for a quail to fall into. So I put a little piece of clear tape over that also. So like I was saying, a lot of the quail are clear, the eggs. Uh, that's sad. These are the snowflake quail, but you can see that one is just, com I don't know if you can even see that, but it's pr pretty much completely clear. Here you can see this egg is totally clear. Nothing in there. This one now, you can see the air sac on the top, and it's dark, so that one's good. Okay, so in the end here I have 29 that I know for sure there's nothing in. And I end up with 25 that I don't know. I don't know. I don't have good hopes for this, but we'll see what happens. I hope I do hatch some quail though. I love quail. All right, well, I'll let this one come back up to 100 degrees, and three days from now, hopefully something will start hatching, 
and at that same day, these will go on lockdown. I'm just about to leave for work here, and I don't know, I probably can't see it at all, but there's two of my eggs that are pipping for sure. These are the chicken eggs. I'm trying to see here on the quail eggs, but I don't see anything that's happening with those yet. Well, like I said, I didn't see any pipping on the uh, quail eggs, but I just did see one just move back and forth, so exciting. I gotta go off to work. Maybe we'll have some chicks this afternoon when I get home. Well, I see two in there that hatched. One that's a real yellowish light colored and one that's dark colored. I don't see anything happening with the quail eggs and I don't see anything pipping and I don't see any of the other chicken eggs pipping. I don't know. Well, at least we have the two chicks. And now in a little bit here, it's after six, I have to put these on lockdown and take out all the bad eggs coming up here in a little bit, but I got a few things to do first. First one here is a chicken egg. And I doubt you can see it, but I can actually see movement in this one. That's exciting. This one is completely clear. No good. That's a turkey egg there. Okay, so I have this many that I know are no good at all. And I have this many possibles. Some of these I, I'm not too sure about at all. And you know what would be nice is once a person has their own stock, then you're doing your own eggs. The whole shipping thing I think is really tough. Okay, so that uh, alert was low heat alert and now it's turned back on and it's at 86 but that top red light that means that it's full heat right now so it'll go up so I don't know three days we'll see what happens those are going in the garbage can okay so overnight one other chicken was born and I have three more eggs in there so far that are pipping so it looks like I might get another three more or so I'm not sure and still nothing with the quail yet We just transferred the little chicks into the brooder. And I have in here one that just hatched. We had to help it out of the shell actually, but it was still a little bit wet, so I'm leaving it in there for a little bit. Some little feathers on this thing. Or like little. If you look at them, yeah. uh, I believe. The females are the, they have like a double feather started and the males have a single feather. Oh, look at this one. This one has, if I can get it, it doesn't like when I grab it. See? Oops, sorry. It has like, I think Does it's it like, have like two or one? Just one. Huh. Let's see if any of the other ones have anything. I just got home from work and these are doing real good here. And in here now I have two more that have hatched and the surprising thing, and you're not going to be able to see them, I have got one quail that hatched and I've got some eggs that are pipping. So when somebody told me it was 23 days for them to hatch, in reality it's more like 26 or 28 days. But anyway, they are just the little, they're so tiny. So maybe later on I'll be able to pull one of these out and you can take a look. In my other incubator that has the turkey and the chicken eggs in it, I see one of the chicken eggs is starting to pip and I must have 10 or 12 of them in here so <laughs> I might end up with a lot of chickens. Hope I get some turkeys. Okay so in this incubator here I now have two quail that have hatched and there's some other ones that are almost out but they can't quite get out and I have three chickens that hatched so I need to get them out of here and the humidity has dropped to 31 so I need to put a wet paper towel in there to bring that up to 50 so the quail will be able to get out of there. So anyway, I'm going to try to do this real quick and I'll show you what the results are afterwards. Well, I took those little quail out and they were, I don't know, they seemed too cold. 
so I had to help one out of the shell which is still in the incubator and I put the other two back in the incubator and then I added water and a paper towel in here to get that humidity up. Well today I took the quail that have hatched out. I've got five of them. I think two of them are snowflake and three of them are the Georgia Giants. But I have one turkey egg that's been pipped for, man, it's been almost two days now and it's just a hole in there and it it doesn't seem to do anything and Melissa thinks I should probably try to help that one out. It's probably stuck in there and can't move anymore so I'm gonna go take a look at it. The worst part is I have some other ones when I put the light on it they move so I know there's turkeys in them but this one right here you can hear it chirping in there but he just doesn't seem to do anything else, so I might crack the end off. See it? So looking at that to me, it's like he is just shrink wrapped in there. I think I'll try to help him out a little bit more. Alright, so today here now, um, we added one chicken and that guy right there, that's that turkey that had the blood and everything yesterday. He's doing pretty good. I helped uh, one quail out of the one of the shells this morning. It couldn't get out of it. And I didn't see anything happening with any of the other ones, but when I got home from work here now, there was four more, so actually five with the one I helped out. So now I think I have ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know. I don't even know how many I have. I think I have something like 10 of them now, so... And I don't know, I don't see any more action in that incubator right now, but that doesn't mean anything, because it seems like every time I don't see any action, uh, something happens. And right here in the turkey, and I have the few chicken eggs in here, uh, one more turkey is, is pipped all the way around the shell, but I think he's stuck in there also. And I see another one has a little pip in the shell. I did raise up the humidity, now I'm up by 58. I think it's too dry in there. And as soon as they pop a hole in it, that membrane shrinks around them and they can't move very well. And like I said, I don't see anything happening with the quail eggs right now, but I'll keep watching them tonight now. And by the time I go to bed, if that turkey hasn't popped out of here yet, I'm going to help him out too and then let him sit in the incubator overnight. Well, it's been, I don't know, another three or four hours and that one turkey is not coming out at all. So I'm going to have to help him out too, and I hate to because there's one that's pipping in here and it's going to drop the humidity, but I did add water, so we're up to 56% humidity, so hopefully it won't do any trouble. So we have this little guy, or this little girl, and this is a bourbon red, and I need to help it out. There you go, huh? Oh, you... It's okay. I know. I need to get a wet paper towel and kind of, it's kind of stuck to it right now. So there we go, we have a healthy turkey that would have died. I need to get it back in the incubator though and it'll have to sit there overnight and let it dry off. <laughs> it's okay. Well here we are a couple days later, I'm just uh taking them and putting them into this box this weekend I'm going to be doing a building a brooder or something to get them outside because they're getting so big but I just put them into this bigger box for a little bit <laughs> now they're all trying to fly around and get a little exercise I had a quail hatch today that I had to call it wasn't right I had a chicken that hatched today that 
if it really wasn't right. I haven't gotten rid of that one yet. I'm going to wait and see what happens. But it seems like the later they hatch past the usual date, the more problems I seem to have. This afternoon here I converted one of the rabbit cages. Now that I just have the two rabbits, I still have an extra cage that's open. So this one wasn't being used. So I converted it into a brooder here and uh, I put a solid bottom in it, switched out the netting on the front to a smaller netting that the chicks can't get through. And this thing here now, if you see it, it can be four separate brooders. This is where you would clip the light on. Each one has one. I can have four brooders. Or I can make it into three separate brooders. I can actually have one huge brooder here. It all depends on how big the chicks are and how many I have. Like the quail, right now they need to get outside too, but they just need a small area. Okay everyone, well here we are. It's almost two weeks later. I ended up with a total of 19 chickens and three turkeys that are alive right now. There were some that had to get called, a couple that died, but my death rate wasn't real bad, but there were a couple that had a little bit of trouble that I had to get rid of. Over here on the quail, I ended up with only 12 of those total. And there were two that I had to call myself. They just weren't quite right. And then when I brought them out here, I just had that little light. And I mean, it was really warm and everything out, but it wasn't warm enough. So there was one day when I lost three in a row. So that was kind of sad. But anyway, they're out here now. And uh, now in the incubator, in the one incubator, I have four goose eggs. And these are some big geese. Sarah, my daughter, really wants to have some geese. So... I've got four eggs there, and I've got three more coming. I've got six mallard eggs, and I have uh, seven or eight turkey eggs that are in the one. Um, they started at 28 days, and then at 21 days, I'm going to put in a whole bunch of chicken eggs also. Uh, most of these chickens here, maybe six of them, are going to go in with my egg layers to help me get more eggs, and I'm going to butcher the rest of these. And I think when the other ones hatch, I'm actually going to put them for sale. And, uh, and see, if, you know, see if I can sell them or otherwise I'll just butcher them. But in the other incubator, kind of exciting, I have three dozen snowflake quail coming. I have one dozen um, Cortnix quail. And I have over, over two dozen, uh, what are those called? They are big butler bob whites. They're supposed to be twice the size. So they will be coming in here soon and uh, they're going to go in. So we'll have a lot more stuff hatching. And uh, down in uh, Louisiana right now, Melissa has uh, quail eggs that are in the incubator. And then she also, I sent down some of these chicken eggs of mine, and she's going to be hatching them. So anyway, stay tuned. I'll have more hatching videos coming up.